Hi Speechies, it's Lisa and welcome back to Speech Fairies. I thought to get my book video out really quickly. Uh, the month is almost half over. We're almost halfway through October. In case you wanted to pick up any of these books off Amazon, they're all my Halloween theme books. So I'm going to go through them. Oh, if I had to pick my favorite book of all time, I'm going to go with this one. Corduroy's Halloween. It's a lift the flap book. So this one is great for the k sound. So anybody working on the k sound that wants to model it a lot in a story, not only because of corduroy, but just a lot of vocabulary that starts with the k sound. So we're raking. That's a k at the end. Rake, rake, rake. And they're catching leaves. There's a little mouse hiding there in the leaves. And it is a lift the flap book. So there's lots of um, little creatures. There's a gate We're working on other viewers and a cat. I think the cat is also on every page, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a nice sequence that comes with this one too. So he first starts at the pumpkin patch and we've got corn and a basket of apples. And there's that cat again that's following him. Pick your pumpkin corduroy. Then he goes shopping to get ready for Halloween. And he's got some bags here with all the things that he bought, tape and paper and flashlight and candles. And these are the nice masks for sale. And there's that cat again. So it's a really, really cute book. Absolutely my favorite book of all time for Halloween. It just has so much vocabulary and it makes sense. Like all the steps that they're going through to decorate, you know, first shopping, then decorating, and then the friends come over for the Halloween party. Knock, knock. There they are. They're all wearing costumes a cowboy, a clown, a scarecrow, a ghost. And you can see who's who, who dressed up as what. <laughs> and take off their masks. This one I had to tape. So it's a really, really cute book. And then they have a little party, bobbing for apples, lots of flaps, and just three or four flaps per page, which is great. That book's from 1995, so, but you may be able to still get it because Corduroy is kind of a classic. So I want to share that one with you guys. Second favorite book of all time. Again, keep in mind that I work with preschoolers. Some of the books you may be able to use with primary this one maybe not so much. The Fisher Price Little People. I know they've changed the Little People recently. On my Instagram I had a little kind of vote. Which books do you like better? The original characters like this or the new characters? And almost everybody said they like the original characters. But Halloween is here. 45 flaps. So again, makes sense. They're starting off in the pumpkin patch and at the apple farm. They're at school and there's so many different flaps. Boys and girls are great for talking about action words and using pronouns. There's different costumes, they're getting dressed up. Then it's time for a party, and then they go out at the end for trick-or-treating. So it just makes sense. And there's lots and lots of vocabulary in these books. I highly, highly recommend any of the Fisher Price flap books. There's so many different goals you can work on with those for speech and language. Third favorite preschool book is the Peek a Boo. So we've had Peek a Moo and Peek a Pet and Peek a Bloom. And this one's Peek a Boo. So we've got the witch and she says hee 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 hee. So it has uh, the sound that that person makes at the bottom. Or sometimes we're just working on the word, this, the B sound. So we're saying Boo. Or we're doing multisyllabics. We'll be doing Peek a Boo. Or they're going to scare you if you're working on the s blends or you can work on the huh sound and say they're hiding or they're hiding with they're putting their hands up let's bring their hands down oh shoes shoes shout the scarecrow so this one's really cute you can work on so many different goals with it as well there's frankenstein what does he say mm, mumbles the monster there's a verb on every page as well Peek a bat, eat eat, squeaks the bat. And there's third person singular on every page as well. So boo, booms the ghost. Guess who? Peek a pumpkin patch. 
Jabbers. The Jack-O-Lantern. Maybe some alliterations on every page, too. And then knockity knock. Guess who? Trick or treat says you. And then there's a review page at the back. I find the new ones don't have these nice review pages where you can go through the whole thing. So it actually has the sound on the window and you have to guess what um, is hiding behind there. So it is a nice review page. Mm -hmm. Who's hiding in the haunted house? So that's peekaboo. That's awesome. These you can sometimes find in the off-price stores. So TJ Maxx company winners, HomeSense, those kind of ones. $3.99 is awesome for one of my favorite books. So peekaboo. Next favorite book for sessions is The Little Old Lady Who Is Not Afraid of Anything. And it's just about this little old lady who's walking through the dark, dark forest. And there's different things that are kind of behind her that keep happening. And then she comes across the two big shoes. The shoes went clump, clump. So it's kind of creepy that there's shoes that are moving by themselves. And then she says... Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you. And she walked down the path, and behind her, she could hear the two shoes following her. Clomp, clomp. So you can talk about those prepositions in front and behind. And then she stumbled upon, upon some pants who, who went, wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you. And you can see that it's a nice repetitive text. And you can do some predicting. So where are the pants going to go? She bumps into some other things. Gloves, a hat, a shirt. And they're all following her. In front of her, she sees a pumpkin. Now they're all following her. And she's not... I would say she's maybe a little bit afraid. She heard a knock-knock at the door. She was not afraid of anything. She Should she answer it? see what the kids say and she went to the door and opened it and what do you think she saw two shoes pants shirt and it just repeats all the actions and she says I'm not afraid of you what do you want anyway and she said they, they say we've come to scare you and she said you can't scare me what's to become of us is the pumpkin head and she has an idea and she whispered in the pumpkin's ear and they nodded and the little old lady said good night and closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. And in the morning she wakes up and looks out the window. She hears the noises again. But it's become a scarecrow in her garden to help scare all the crows away. So I actually went on Google Images and I just printed off some pictures of things that looked like the ones in the book so clomp shoes that go clomp clomp and I've just got sticky tack on the back and then we kind of once we find something that summons the book we stick them on the wall so we just got stuck to the wall we've got pants got green pants there's the hat there's the gloves there's the shirt and there's the pumpkin head so we actually build the scarecrow during the story or right after. I also use this one quite a bit. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat and we've seen this one in the fall video but just different vocabulary so she swallowed a bat, she swallowed an owl, she started to howl, she swallowed a cat. So it's getting kind of silly and it just keeps going and going. There's the list of all the things that she swallowed, good for past tense. And it says, read this book to find out what she, what happened at the end, but I'll spoil it for you. So at the end, she swallowed a, a wizard and cast a spell so she could yell. Trick or treat, and everything comes out. And at the end, she goes, burp. So that's a cute little book. I also like this one that H is for Haunted House. Because it's got lots of boys and girls and really, really cute pictures. A is for Autumn. B is for Bats. C is for Costumes. D is for Dangerous. E is for Eyeballs. 
So lots of funny vocabulary, lots of boys and girls and action words. Those are what I spend most of my time doing. And all the grammar goals that go with. And these are rhyming little phrases as well. And the pictures are really cute. And there's a nice variety of costumes in there. Froggy is also a favorite. Froggy's Halloween. This has some of the standard elements of Froggy, like the Froggy. Room on the Broom is also a classic. But Room on the Broom has a nice sequence. This one I got thrifting for $1.49. But it's just a funny, funny <laughs> little story about all the creatures that follow this witch. This one's Who Will Haunt My House on Halloween. So it's this little girl, her mom's upstairs getting ready, but she's getting ready for Halloween by pouring the candy. Werewolves, so there's plurals. Maybe scary ghosts will show up. So she's actually just saying maybe and, oh no, zombies, I'm afraid. And spooky bats. Run, run, there's zillions of them. No, I'm really scared. This isn't funny. There's witches. No thanks, I'm not thirsty. And spiders. So she really gets herself worked up. And it's, <laughs> the creatures are getting crazier and crazier that come to her door. And then her mom comes downstairs and said, did anyone trick or treat yet? And she said, no, it's been very quiet. So it could have just been her imagination getting away on her. So then she gets dressed up and she goes out with her friends for Halloween, so that's cute. Again, you have to gauge your audience of who can handle some of that, those scary pictures. Some of my preschoolers wouldn't be able to, but some of them would. These are my board books. So we've got Trick or Treat with Scary Flaps. Pumpkin has a scary face in the sky and kids could guess a moon appears yeah. i thought it was going to be a bat but here's the bat probably guess who's there and the spider spins a spooky web sometimes person some singulars let's dress up as you can guess what he's going to dress up it's nice that there's a he and a she right beside each other all right where is he a rattly skeleton a rattly skeleton and a witch's cat. And so it's just a cute introduction, simple vocabulary and flaps to open, which my little preschool friends really like. <clears throat> this one's cute too, Halloween faces. You can actually try on these faces. <laughs> They're different masks and you can try them on. I actually have some cute little masks that go nicely with this. And these are just from the dollar store, but you could play the Halloween, you can try on different masks after you read this book, which is really fun. So we've got the skeleton, the little vampire, and they're just really soft and they just, I think they were a dollar, dollar twenty-five. Pumpkin. And that's the Frankenstein. And these ones are older, but they're still good. The clown and the pumpkin mask. So I like to use those masks when I read this book because they go together so nicely. I also have this one, Who's at the Door, and it does have a doorbell that works, but it needs new batteries. So it's ding dong, trick or treat, and they get to ring the bell and then open the door. So first you ring the bell and then the door opens. So it's kind of cute. And it's got Lots of crazy creatures behind the door. You can even ask who questions. Who's behind the door? First then, kids are coming. What do we say? Trick or treat. So it's actually kind of a little social story and a board book all at once. And one more, trick or treat. A Halloween shapes book. So this one was missing the shapes. So we just made them. Says you'll find four yummy. Um, says you'll find four yummy candy treats. So we just made them because the book didn't come with them. Again, I got it secondhand. So we made candy corn, chocolate, rainbow candies, just different kinds of candies. 
Good for the k sound. So it says hooray. I'm putting my pointy hat in my scary witch costume. And then it has a shape and you can put one of the candies in that spot. There's just a hole in every page, sometimes two. And that's where you put your candy shapes. So there's a drawer here. You can put them in, but I just left them in the front. So that one's cute. We're working on some early shapes. And often I just am practicing the k sound and then working on the word candy. And different kinds of candy. Let's say my favorite books are done. I probably have more. Again, I'm organizing and I've been digging some more out this weekend. But those are the, my favorite books that I use the most often with my preschoolers. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything to add or you have a question. And please subscribe to our channel. We're putting up lots more videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now everyone.